all the uh, cooldowns available and not available um, for their classes. You can see we've got six seconds on Fear. You've got one minute on Power and Infusion. You've got two minutes on Pet. Uh, you've got Hymn of Hope, which is uh, two minutes as well, and also Fear Ward, which is two minutes. And really, that's kind of... And also Shadow Word Death, which uh, was used Shadow there. Shadow Death on the, the poly, yeah. Yeah, we didn't break the poly, but still you can see it all happening. So if you are watching at home and you can squint a little bit, unless you're playing on a ridiculously large LCD, you can see exactly what these guys can and can't do in every situation. But still, it does look like SK have a slight mana advantage. They are going to actually, look at this, they're going to go heavy onto O'Reilly. He's going to be walking away from the fray, still following Phenomenon. He's going to be put into a sheep. Let's uh, switch over to O'Reilly and see what he's got going on for him. Uh, Stone forms actually uh, almost back. He's just reapplied Fear Ward. And, well, these got guys... He's going to try to do some burst, but you can't really do much when you're just getting Chain Pollard and Chain Feared every time it's up. I think after a certain amount of time that some sort of um, goblin destruction crew should come in and blow up um, this pillar. Um, and all the others, so we can have an open fight. So well, we can you got the 15-minute rule, right? Like, at the yeah. end of 15 minutes? And normally, there is a 15-minute rule, and it's done on damage um, a lot of the times, which I'm not too pleased about when it comes to Mage Priest. I honestly think if the fight goes on for so long, maybe a restart, but some teams will just play to survive, not to win on damage. So maybe it is the best option to give the, uh, the winner um, the one who does the most damage. Obviously, SK being in most of these tournaments should know that they should be pumping out more damage. But in actual fact, it seems like a team of Inner Fire have been the aggressors um, as far as damage goes. And saying that, out comes the pet. In comes the shatter combo. In comes the deep freeze. That goes all on to O'Reilly. But look at this, only dipping to 1.14k, uh, sorry, out of his 22. So... You know, in a fire, if it does come down to damage and our admin, Sean, from ESL, does get bored, in a fire might claim this with one resurrect, one win on damage, and also a quick kill onto another. And that's a very weird way, if you don't mind me saying, to win a match. Yeah, definitely. And we do actually have an update from the other game. Uh, it is Nihilum versus uh, Existence. The game is over. And uh, you predicted Nihilum to take it with their setup. And I can now inform you, Ziz, and everyone at home interested, that Nihilum did, in fact, beat Existence with a scoreline of 3 to 1. Um, so quite a, a, a big victory there. Did X6 stick with the, the uh, Hunter team? Not sure. Our producer uh, probably doesn't know that much yeah, to tell yeah, yeah. me. Uh, but he is kind enough to obviously keep me informed on everything else. So mana burns then from Phenomenon onto O'Reilly. Not going to hit that one. Is going to be back. You can see both the rogues in the center here dead. Um, I can almost do a, a free cam. Uh, maybe I can't do a free cam. Whoops. Oh, I am on free cam. I'm playing around with the tournament UI. All right, so in this situation that we've uh, been left in, we've got pillar one, let's call it, pillar two. And we've got two dead rogues in the center. So what the priests are going to be trying to do, just like I really is here, they're going to want to drink up behind the pillar, get line of sight onto the uh, dead rogues, and maybe go for a resurrect. At the moment, this doesn't seem to be too possible for either team, um, as they will obviously have both the priests in what we call focus target, which means we'll be watching what they're doing, even if you're not watching them. It's kind of like a third eye, so to speak. So it won't be possible maybe to get a res, but certainly there's a very slim chance. Over on this pillar, we have most of the action with uh, the aggressive mage being cold. So Inner Fire do have more, um, so to speak, of the damage. So I'm not sure when SK are going to want to turn this on its head and try to win this game themselves, because at the moment, they really don't seem to be trying to win. And they have another on you know, all manner in the world. Uh, cold's going to be drinking, but honestly, how do you think this game is going to end? Can you see a kill? Can you see a resurrect? Or do you think it's going to go to 15 minutes of my voice, um, you know, which is a horrible way to end any game, uh, going into basically you know, damage done? Uh, I don't see anyone dying here. I mean, both their teams are playing pretty defensively. It's pretty hard to kill each other when you have a dispel and stuff with the mage. But uh, yeah, um, I might go to a draw. I'd rather see a replay, personally. I would rather see a replay as well. And in all fairness, I mean, SK 
Um, I'm not sure which Rogue actually. No, it is Desis that dropped first. S uh, SK Zom to drop next. Um, so, I mean, SK are going to feel hard done by if this goes to damage. And, uh, you know, basically they don't get the win because they haven't been playing as aggressive. But, you know, another has played aggressive. He used 10k of his mana. Uh, Cold looking to Polly. Another looks like he uh, cancelled that right at the end. They are going to be Iceland spamming each other. Still following Cold. A lot of his cooldowns are down. He's used Escape, escape Artist recently. You know, he just uses uh, Counter Spell. It's going to be put into a, a deep freeze. It's going to get dispelled out of that, but actually it looks like he ice blocks there. In comes an evocate from another. Going to get put into Polly. Cold from Inner Fire It's going to evocate himself. So now maybe he can turn this around and go slightly more aggressive. That player coming in there was going to be another. Harassing. Nothing, still seeing not much from these priests. In comes a Holy Fire then. On to another, gonna drop, gonna blink and then ice block. In comes a massive spell. Should if they control, oh really, which they have done, they can kill another and another's gonna go down. And I, uh, that was, oh really caught in a bad position and all you can do, all you can do is ice block, but you know, that was gonna be taken off and you can hear the screams on stage from Inner Fire and they are gonna move into the grand finals. There it is, winner of this is going to be Inner Fire versus SK. When there was absolutely nothing for a good 10 minutes, they said, well, this is our moment. They found that window. 